Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the last final part of my Europa League jersey review which hopefully posts and will post on the last match day of the Europa League. Um, so I'm doing again the Ronaldo thing, it's part 12. Ronaldo fits, I'm wearing Manchester United because they are the top city team in there. I took him down from the background there. Um, I thought briefly, shall I put other jerseys on there and then I said no. Let's showcase. You see them a little bit better this way. Uh, especially my new Lazio jersey. You know, I said it, I'm a Roma fan, but um, Lazio has nice jerseys as well. Um, yeah, also this Manchester United jersey. I have to say, I'm not a big United fan, but I like this jersey, especially the little devil. We have this holiday in Austria, Krampus. Uh, he's kind of St. Nicholas's evil companion. Comes on December 5th. There was a movie made, made of it and something. Uh, it's a devilish creature that is used to scare the kids. Uh, my kids, I try to not scare, but I wore them a United jersey because of Krampus. They won the night before against Spurs. So we have here a little devil here, a little devil. <laughs> Be scary. Anyway, uh, let's start with United. Um, it's it's a, in, 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 in a way a rather weird group, this one. Uh, we saw the United kids, of course, in the um, uh, Premier League jersey review already. Um, so I'm gonna run through them. Yeah, I don't know if I will run through them quicker. The home jersey, I said it before, it's a really a fine home jersey. I like the um, reverence it pays to the 99 final, although I think for that it comes a little bit too late. It's just too much black on there. Uh, I don't like the crest in black and gold. They, they should have done it like they did it on that jersey back then. Uh, you know, where you have kind of the full color crest on a white background. I think that would look much better than this black here. Um, for me, United jerseys are much better if they have mostly white like this one and then have a little bit black thrown here. You know, you can use it, you know. It's the, the, the logo can be black or something like that. Uh, this looks a little bit boringish, and uh, for that reason, I gave it only five stars. I'm sticking with it. The away jersey, um, yeah, the gold. I mean, it's there's a nice patterning on there. Uh, it's actually again monochromatic rests. I think United only uses monochromatic rests this time around, um, which is all right. The gold jersey is fine if United would still be the great United, but we, it has to claw itself back at the moment. It's not the great United. Uh, also, uh, why, while the black looks better, the club color is red. There's no red on this jersey. That's what I'm missing here. For that reason, uh, it's a fine jersey. It's just not for me a United jersey. For that reason, also only five stars. Um, the third jersey is the best one of the bunch. Um, however, the sponsor ruins it. Yes, there's finally some red on there. Um, maybe put in the wrong places. I think if they would have done it like the crest here and not kind of everything yellow is red on this crest. That would look better, and it's the red here looks almost like an orange as well. It's a similar style like we had for Bejiktas already with this patterning and the stealth look. Again, sponsor makes it not look good, but it's probably the best jersey. But I have to say, this year's United kids leave a rather average. For that reason, I'm only gonna give this six stars as I did in the Premier League jersey review. Let's go to the other teams. We'll go to the second seeded team, which was Alkmaar from the Netherlands. Uh, equipped by Under Armour. Um, I think the only other Under Armour jerseys that we have looked at were the ones from Southampton, and they were awful. I have to say, I really like what they did here for Alkmaar. Just the basic style is already great with the collar, the button down and so on, although I have a colleague who hates that. I actually like it. But then look at it a little bit more. There is kind of the flag there is a horizontal striping, so hoops are there, as a light dark and um, light red and darker red. And then uh, to really make it better, there is even an additional patterning there, which probably has to do from the provincial flag around Alkmaar or the city flag or whatever. Uh, gives it a very structured feel that I absolutely love. This is a great jersey, I have to say. The sponsor is, of course, a little bit too uh, big here, but uh, that is not something that we'll see in the Europa League, where the sponsor is a lot, lot smaller. So that saves it as well. 
really cool looking jersey uh even the white speck although they're not all the way down i like there's something special about this one i'm gonna give this nine stars believe it or not the away jersey in black um Wow, look, this looks cool as well because now the crest is popping more than you have the specs here now I red and white I love and even the color there is something uh, This is also a nine star jersey. This uses the club's colors very very uh, Gently, but really in a cool way. This is a really good looking jersey I have to say I love this one and for once a Dutch away jersey that does not look awful And yeah, well, we had Alkma the third jersey does something similar I almost regret that I gave now the away nine stars as well. Uh, this is also great. This is the best looking one. You still have this pattering on the shoulders. Uh, you have the sleeves. I absolutely love how this comes up. And then the red, red and black. I mean, with the red, red and black and white, you always gotta get high marks from me. This is really well done, even down to the color. I'm also gonna give this nine stars for ten stars, I think. Or shall I go 10? Let's go with this one 10 despite the sponsor. This is a really cool looking jersey. I would love to have this one. I have to say. 10 stars it is. And then we go down to Serbia to Partizan, the other big team, uh, who actually has the luxury to always be able to play in their home jerseys. And it took me a while to find the other two. Uh, the home jersey is your black and white Partizan look. Um, with the raglan sleeves from Nike with the white band. I actually have to say it looks quite cool. The only thing I wish is that the sponsor would fit within the stripes as it, they manage for Juventus. But even with the black box and the white sponsor on there, uh, it, it does not look awful. It's just a little bit weird that it protrudes all the stripes here. Uh, nothing bad at all. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking jersey. Uh, maybe on the back, you know, it's kind of blacked, uh, it's blacked or white, why, why I whited out one of, one of those two things. I think it's a white back. Yes, it's a white back. But, you know, um, we gotta take this, I guess. Um, it looks good, good, good enough for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this seven stars. Um, you know, a little bit improvement and we would have a perfect jersey. I, of course, wish that the sleeves were also uh, striped. Then let's look at the away jersey. I mean, I found two jerseys that are um, the complete opposites of it. Other one is the away, one and one is the third. Both can serve. The um, I would say the away jersey is the white one, which is just your um, Nike template with the band around uh, in white. I do not like that the sponsor is in a black box here. That one here, we could have put the sponsor just in black lettering and white, it would have been fine. Um, for that reason, I'm, all, you know, it, 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 it will be your five, six star, but with that sponsor, yeah. I have a hard time giving it four, but I, I, I wanna give it four. And then uh, the third jersey, it's the black version of this one where this it looks better. I think this is your typically five star jersey. It's a template, smack on the crest. The sponsor is actually quite nice. Uh, maybe let's give it six stars even because this is uh, because the sponsor really fits with the whole thing. And then the hardest time I had in finding the Astana kits where I really only have match screenshots. I'm assuming that Astana plays like the Kazakh national team in yellow at home. Uh, and has an Adidas template with a lot of sponsors on there. Uh, you know, it's Kazakh colors. It doesn't really look, really doesn't look bad at all. Um, it's also not exciting. This is your five star look. Uh, the away jersey is then in light blue with yellow. That one I actually like a teeny bit better. Um, and for that reason, yeah. Again, it's there is not much to these jerseys, but I do like it a little a little bit better in the light blue. I think it's a better coloring. Uh, let's give this six stars, and we're done with the Europa League jersey review. Poor, this was a lot of work, but I enjoyed actually doing it. Um, I pulled it off for a long time, mainly because I had to find a few jerseys still, but also because it takes a lot of time to do this, and now I still have to do the editing. Let me know which jerseys you liked in this group. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. I'm 
We'll have to do over the winter on a La Liga, uh, not, not La Liga, a Liga 1 jersey review. And, you know, then we'll start again in the new season. And there are some tournaments coming in the summer where we'll also do jersey reviews. Um, anyway, if you want to if you wanna suggest a league that I should do because it has interest in jerseys, just go ahead and tell me. Uh, it's also give me resources where to get them. I think the only one where I can reliably find it is Austria. Because, yeah. That's home country. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.